Former Finance Minister Tun Daim Zainuddin has urged the government to be more transparent regarding the financials of One Malaysia Development Board or 1MDB. He says, Putrajaya owes the people an explanation as to why the Sovereign Wealth Fund borrowed so much money. Be transparent about it and say this is the real situation. So that knows you know, what is you know, happening. You know. Uh, there's so many confusing statements coming up, you know, saying that we are okay, we're doing well, you know. Oh, you're doing well, why can't you pay your debt? You know, and as simple as that, you know. And uh, why do you borrow so much? You know? Where has the money gone? The client wants to know, that's all. Daim said there is no harm in being truthful about the situation and admitting mistakes. In life, we all make mistakes, but let's be honest. And the more you try to hide, the more people get suspicious. So it's better to come up with the truth, give the full facts, and then let people make their own decision. Speaking to reporters on the sidelines of a conference in Kuala Lumpur, Daim agreed that 1MDB contributed to the weakening of the ringgit due to capital flight caused by the uncertainty surrounding the Sovereign Wealth Fund. And I think 1MDB is one, one of them that causes uncertainty. You know? So if we resolve this problem, then the ringgit, I think, will strengthen. You know? Because 1MDB is big, big, big money. It's 40 over billion. He went on to say that 1MDB loans should be recognised as a non-performing loan by its lenders, stressing that the issue is not about politics. I don't know why they have not. <laughs> because they have given an extension a couple of times already. You know? so, and it's difficult to understand why they cannot pay. They have redeemed the money. You know? So why the money has not come back to pay the loan? You know, it's cannot say it's politics. You know, it's beyond politics, I think. You know, this is a straight company. A company cannot pay, and people want to know why. You know, nothing to do with politics. You, know, you can blame politics for a lot of things, but not this case. You know. The former minister earlier presented a speech at the conference which was organised by Afin Huang Capital. This is Jonathan Gan, DHTV.